Apple's fiscal fourth quarter results handily beat Wall Street estimates Monday. The company sold well over 39 million iPhones in the most recent quarter, boosted by its new iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, which shattered records at their launch. Apple also sold 5.5 million Macs, climbing more than 20 percent from a year ago. And the percentage of sales from overseas ticked up to 60 percent of the total, with China growing 1 percent. These factors helped it to crush analyst targets with revenue of more than $42 billion. Apple is forecasting as much as $65.5 billion in sales for the current quarter. Apple shares were moving higher in aftermarket trading ahead of its call with analysts. The initial numbers may help to calm hand ringers concerned about a drop off in iPad and iPod sales and competition from Android phones. Earlier in the day, Apple launched a new mobile payment system, Apple Pay. It aims to replace cash and traditional credit cards with users making point of sale purchases in one swipe. Morningstar's Brian Colello says Apple Pay will be a smart way to keep iPhone users on board. We think it's a, a great product. We think it will gain adoption. Uh, we don't see it as a revenue driver. Even if you look five years out, it, it maybe will add a couple of incremental points to revenue, but it's not going to move the needle much on the revenue side. The more important factor is it improves the user experience. It creates customer loyalty.